Well, 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 Judge Ingeron, huh? Behind closed doors, you getting your creep on, huh? What is really on Fokios and Fokoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, everybody? I appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure y'all do everything I told y'all to do at the beginning of this video. Make sure y'all follow me on all these platforms up here. Don't worry about the spelling up there. That's the way it's supposed to be spelled. That's the way it's supposed to look. That's how it appears on my Rumble channel until I get a change, all right? Appreciate you guys all being here again. Yeah, you guys seen the thumbnail and all that, so you probably got an idea what this is going to be about, all right? And I don't want to take too much time on talking and setting y'all up for it, but I do want to give y'all a little bit of something, okay? Before I do, can y'all hit that like button? Because you're going to like this. You're, you're going to like it. All right. So, let me first give a shout out to James O'Keefe of OMG. Go check out his YouTube channel, OMG, stands for O'Keefe Media Group. This dude got balls the size of the moon. Like, this dude is fearless, and I love it. We got to team up sometimes, James. You guys are getting ready to see, and you can judge by your own eyes, of uh, the judge that fined Trump $350-some million, the most egregious amount for fraud, apparently, with no victims and nobody got hurt, nobody complained, nobody came forward, no witnesses. But Trump got this ridiculous fine, which I think is going to be thrown out in the appeals court. Anyway, he is going to a gym, and apparently he has been creeping on women there, and they do not like it, and they've been turning them off and making them feel uncomfortable. Now, with that being said, I'm getting ready to present y'all with the video so y'all can see it for yourselves, and then after that, we'll talk about it. Let's go. Good. Judge Arthur Engeron, here's me walking in the Equinox gym at 5.30 a.m. We're talking to a fan inside the gym, and he says... Sorry. Now usually. Now usually. So he, here's a video. We're looking inside the Equinox gym. Judge Arthur Engeron, that's the guy, for those of you who don't know his name, who ruled against Trump in Manhattan, $354 million, whatever it was. And there he is sitting on the couch inside the Equinox. Great Neck, New York. This is just outside New York City. The Equinox in New York. So I'm going to go in there and try to talk to him. We got the music from Scarface, and here we got a little clip of Engoron working out. We got the hidden cameras in the gym there in the Equinox in New York. You're looking at video of me doing the dips next to the judge doing the rows. People saying he needs protein. That's the other thing we should sell is protein powder. Good pro, who, who, we always need protein powder. We're selling the vitamins, we need to sell the protein powder. We need more protein, James. We need yeah. more protein. We need more, strong, strong body, strong mind. <laughs> And uh, the listeners, if you're listening to this, you can watch these clips in the nest. You can see the video. And now let's get the meat and potatoes. So listen to this, everyone. This is breaking news inside the Equinox Gym in Long Island, New York, Great Neck, New York. The judge creeping on the girls. Let's listen in. One source even sent us a video saying that Arthur Engeron creeps girls out in an Equinox Gym in Long Island. At the end of the clip, the woman is visibly annoyed by the judge and tells him to back off, gesturing with her hands. And here's a video. This was not shot by me. This is shot by someone inside the gym. I'm going to read this to you. This is a confidential source. We have them on the line. We're going to get him on the line before we go to my conversation with the judge. We call this Equinox Deep Throat. I don't know, you know, I'm 39 years old, but I've read all the Woodward and Bernstein books, Deep Throat referring to the source inside the, the FBI, Mark Felt. OMG has all types of deep throats. Now we got an Equinox deep throat. We will not reveal the identity of the man or woman, multiple sources who are recording the judge. You can clearly see in the video clip, the young woman, we've been told these women are 20 something, early 20s, trying to get the guy to back off. Now, I'm gonna read this to you, quote, she's clearly annoyed and tells him to back off. She's gesturing with her hands to get him to back off. Judge Engeron goes to my gym, the Equinox gym, 
in Great Neck, I have a video of him creeping the girls out. He does this every single visit, every single day, 5.30 a.m. to 6 or 6.30 a.m. every single day. The source tells us that they want to record more videos of the judge doing this. Multiple sources inside the gym. The video you're watching, everyone, is not taken by OMG. It's taken by a source. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, 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 team, do we have that source on the line? Do we have uh, Equinox Deep Throat on the line? Team, not yet? Oh, that, that's, uh, is that coming up? What time are we having him on the line? All right, we're standing by on that. But I'm going to go ahead and go to my conversation with the judge. Uh, this is this is Judge Anger on Dead. I told him I'm a huge fan. Thank you for what you did, Judge. Thank you so much. For what? He says, for what? I said, thank you for what you did. And he's laughing. He's having a good time. And there you see Letitia James, the judge, and Trump in the courtroom in the background. I say, that must have felt good. And then I tell the judge, we got to get all these MAGA people out of New York State once and for all. We can't have all these MAGA people in New York after all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And the judge replies, thank you. He asked me what my day job is. Wearing the OMG t-shirt, which said O'Keefe Media Group. But the judge didn't know who I was. And I was standing there, and, and, and literally, in front of this judge, I've got a big T-shirt with huge letters, OMG. Um, and he still does not know who I am. It says O'Keefe on my shirt. He did not know who I was. None of these people recognize me. You know, Stein, to your point, you asked me, why, why doesn't anybody recognize me? I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the schism in media. They don't really pay attention to the internet. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that before we play the rest of this? Well, it's funny because I would think that these people that are connected to politics whatsoever would know who you are. So that's why that was more shocking. But listen, I interview people on the street all the time. If you ask somebody who Kamala Harris is, I would say... Not, not even kidding. Maybe seven out of ten people wouldn't even know, and you'd have to remind them. Like when I, because I have videos where I've asked people, you know, who is the president. You can ask. There's literally viral videos on TikTok where people have a, a clock and they can't even read a clock. So I mean, we're just people are just dumb. And I'm, I'm including myself. So that's what I think it is, James. They don't even know what's going on. They don't realize that, you know, the Department of Justice has, has been weaponized against the American people. Like, there's major things people don't know about. So. I guess if they don't know that's happening, then maybe that makes sense. They don't know who James O'Keefe is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if most people can name one Supreme Court justice, let alone my name, uh, or you know Ed Snowden. I think it was John Oliver who did a piece about Ed Snowden. No, most people don't even know who Ed. Still not. That's what you witnessed. Now this is your video that you sent OMG of him. Being pretty, pretty uh, handsy with a young 20-something, and she's basically pushing him away. You, you witnessed this. Tell us what you witnessed. We had to blur the woman's face. I mean, the moment I saw him go up to this, this girl, you know, I knew I had to get my camera out and just get a recording of it because I, I knew how it was going to end. It ends the same time every time. These girls at the end, at first, they might smile and, you know, say, oh, hi, hello. You know, they're being kind and nice. And by the end of the conversation, they always get creeped out. You always see the change in their face. You always see that they're visibly very upset. Now, you're listening, for those of you tuning in, you're listening to a person inside the Equinox Gym in New York talking about the recording he made of Judge Engeron, that's Arthur Engeron from the Trump case, getting creepy on girls. Now, you mentioned this woman is, you know, the judge appears to be doing something prior to talking to her. What is he saying here to this woman? I wish I knew. I mean, I think he kicks up a conversation, you know, normally. And then by the time the conversation gets towards the end, as you could see in the video, unfortunately, you know, obviously the face has to get blurred out. But you could see her expression change in an instant. Whatever he said, she, she didn't like it. And, and it's the same thing every single time. That's why I knew once I got my camera out, I was going to get something. Yeah, y'all see that? I mean, what do y'all think her body language said? 
Like, oh my God, get away from me. Or was she more like, okay, thank you, but no thank you. He goes on about his business. We can only speculate what was being said to her. But based off of the body language, she was not feeling him. She did not want to have anything to do with whatever he was saying to her. She was just like, uh-uh, no. You seen the hand gesture? Now, with that being said, the man who was talking to James O'Keefe anonymously, notice how he said, this man does this all the time. He does it all the time. He goes, and guys, he could just be, look, I'm just, look, y'all know I'm neutral. He could just be going and just having a basic conversation with them and being nice to them. He could just be going over to them and telling them, hey, you know, you're doing a good job. You're working out. You're doing good. And wow, you come here often. And a person like, you know, I'm just trying to work out. It could be that. That could be all it is, ladies and gentlemen. But again, the person that you guys hear talking to James O'Keefe, says that you can tell by the women's facial expressions that they are turned off by, that they feel uncomfortable by, face of grimacing and everything like that. So what is it that he's saying or doing that's making them feel uncomfortable? Now I'm going to play some games here because this is what I told y'all that since they do it, the left, you know, the crazy woke people, how come y'all don't do it back at them? What are you talking about, Ty? If he has done this to several different women in this gym, one thing I would like to know is, does this gym have cameras? And if they do, is there any way that they'll be able to obtain that footage of the camera and show the judge talking to all these different women in there and these women all having the same type of response? Raise you another one. James, you and your secrecy, is it possible for you to find one of your good looking men and find out if these women are single or not? You know, go with them, talk with them like, you know, you know how y'all do and see what they have to say about what the judge said to them and how he made them feel. And if that is the case, let's put him on trial now. Huh? Can these women possibly come forth and file a harassment case? You know how they do Donald Trump, like, you know, from the, you know how they did Donald Trump? The, 80, the woman that just got the 80 some million, you know, the one that live out there in the woods in Alice in Wonderland with all the rabbits and birds and ants and all that stuff like that. Peter Cottontail, you know that lady? How she said Trump did something to her? So this is way more fresh than what supposedly Trump did to this lady, right? So what if those women come forth right now and say how this judge made them feel? And maybe they didn't want to speak up and say anything because how intimidated they felt. And they knew who he was and they knew the type of power that he had. So they felt powerless and they didn't want to speak out and say anything because of what would happen to them. Because by God, if they can, if Trump can get a $355 million fine for so-called fraud and there were no victims and nobody got hurt and everybody got paid, there were no witnesses and nobody came and complained about what Trump did, then surely these lowly law-abiding citizens middle American age ladies probably can't do anything to this almighty powerful judge, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm just throwing it out there because this, that's what they do. Y'all got to learn to do the same thing back. I don't care what y'all say. The only reason why you, I'm using this as a metaphor. The only reason why a bully knows he can bully you is because you let him. I mean, you already, you already getting bullied. How worse can it get if you take a brick and knock him upside the head or something with it? Metaphorically speaking. Okay, what do y'all think about all that? I want to know what y'all thoughts is on this whole ordeal. What do y'all think based off her body language? Do you think that she was creeped out by him or she was just like, oh, you know, no, it could be anything. He could ask you, hey, do you drink Pepsi? Oh, no, I don't drink Pepsi. And then he goes on. It could be anything, y'all. Let's be real. I'm not going to sit there and say, I bet he was saying this. I mean, I can say that, but I can also say, like I just said, I bet he was just asking her if she likes Dr. Pepper or Pepsi. I don't know. We don't know. But God, if we were able to get a hold of those ladies. And find out what it is that he said to them and how it made them feel. That would be golden. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button for me right now because it pushes this video out in the YouTube world. YouTube is going to suppress this video. Guarantee you and your money. They are going to suppress this video. But if you guys hit the thumbs up button and you leave a comment, it pushes the video out in the YouTube algorithm. I don't care if you guys just leave a period or just a line of periods. Leave something so this video can get out there because they're going to suppress this video. Also, if y'all been enjoying my channel, y'all been liking my channel, which I'm based off the comments, you guys have been loving it, which I greatly appreciate it and I'm humbled by it. Let somebody in y'all contact list know. Let somebody in your scope of friends who actually have the same type of agreement, same type of mindset and principles that you and I do, let them know about this channel if you would, please, all right? All right, I'm ready to see what y'all got to say about this in this comment section. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.